Well, I can't believe it, folks. Somehow the liberal media made a movie that's pretty good. The movie today is Suspiria. It's a film by, okay, and I wrote this down, Luca Guido Gnigo. He's Italian, and you can tell because the film doesn't make any fucking sense at all. But I have an explanation for exactly what's going on at this dance academy. In the film, the main girl Susie arrives at the dance academy, hoping to learn how to dance, among other things, maybe to get, you know, some shelter. Cause she's far from home. Wink wink. That's right. This has been a dream of Susie's all along. To join this famous dance academy. And that's really what I think the film's all about. It's about coming up from nothing in your hodunk town in rural America. And having dreams and aspirations and doing what's necessary to make those things a reality. And by the end of the film, Susie's the de facto leader of the dance academy because she believed in her dream so greatly. The liberals want you to believe that capitalism is an oppressive system that keeps people down. But this film tells another story. It tells the story of the Berlin Wall and the threat of communism, which would have outlawed dancing, among other things. Also in the film, the communists try to erase a Jewish man's, you know, his little home. And that was really sad. Sometimes the communists are the real Nazis. I don't really remember much of the plot. I dozed off, I had a few too many gin and tonics when I was watching the film, but I do remember the dancing. I was quite impressed. It wasn't what I'm used to at the strip club, but the girls were still quite erotic and I got even a boner. Some people are saying that this film's a movie about witches, and I don't know what they're getting at. Clearly the scenes with the strange witchcraft were all just metaphorical and I have proof of this now I know I was about eight gin and tonics deep when this scene was going on but I still remember it clear as day in near the end of the film there's a character who's going around just blowing people's heads off just like I did back in Vietnam and then it's all in low frame rate like something's going on clearly by the film of the language of the film, sorry, I've had a few to drink already, it's telling us that this scene, this isn't reality. This is some otherworldly shit. That's why the frame rate changes. Reality can only be seen in 24 frames a second. That's why they shoot movies in 24 frames. And that's why The Hobbit was in 48 frames a second. Because it was twice as boring as the real world. You have to add the extra frames for how additionally boring something is compared to reality. But in this film, the frame rate felt like it was about 6 frames per second because it was so much more magical than our reality could ever possibly conceive. I do want to make one comment. Tilda Swinton was in the movie but I didn't see her very much. Uh, where was she? I know she was at the dance academy, but I really didn't see her too often. I mean, she went out to dinner once and they had a psychic conversation. Or that or I, my ears were full of water and I couldn't tell what was going on. But where was she? Can someone tell me where Tilda Swinton was in this movie? I didn't see her very often. Where was she? Something else this film does that I hold dear to my heart is that it puts Jews to blame for the psychological phenomena that women suffer from in our modern reality. If Jews didn't invent psychology, then these women wouldn't have been experiencing so many problems at their dance academy where they were just trying to follow their hearts and dreams. 
It brings a tear to my eye, but I'm glad by the end of the film the Jewish character got his comeuppance. And he had an orgasm. Or a seizure. I'm not really sure. I'm not a doctor personally, and I don't go to doctors. And I'll never get the vaccine. God damn it, Trump trying to talk me into that shit.